Oh well, guys, it is official. I got stickers. Check it out. And you too can get a sticker. Just uh, contacting me via the email down below, and we'll make arrangements. I think we're probably worth somewhere around five bucks, maybe. Throw a link in the description below, and you can get your very own old car auto guy stickers and help support the channel. Good morning, guys. It is Friday. Welcome back to the channel. So this episode is going to be somewhat dedicated to the Kia Soul. We are this close to getting it running. So if you recall from one of my previous videos, my last update, which I will put in the card above here, that we felt like the timing tensioner had failed and caused the engine to become out of time, which in turn bent valves. Um, we did find a couple of bent valves that we thought um, were, they were actually noticeable, but for the cost of the valves, they were less than $20 a piece. We decided it was time to uh, just replace them all. So we replaced all the valves. We've got a new chain, new ch tensioner, and Tim has been working away at this on his spare time. We've got the head back on, and this is how close we are as of right now. So we've just got it covered up in rags to keep the dust off of it. But basically as it sits right now, we are ready for the valve cover to go on. Uh, we've got some new spark plugs to put in and uh, get all the electrical connections buttoned up. Once that's done, we should be in line to start it. And fingers crossed that it actually starts this time. Now, one thing that we did find, or that, that I noticed when we were pushing it in the last time, is that the when I turned the key forward, I could hear a beeping noise, and I know exactly what that tone sounds like. In some vehicles, when we sell them, some financing requires us to install one of those little GPS tracking units so that if the customer does default on their loan, uh, they can track the vehicle or inhibit it from starting if they are late on a payment. So I heard that device in this thing, and I've never heard it before the whole time that we've had this car. So what that tells me is that right from the very beginning when we felt that the vehicle wouldn't start, it is possible that the starter interrupt feature on that GPS was causing the car not to start, therefore flooding it, therefore cranking on it too much, timing tensioner, um, timing chain tensioner failing to the point that we're at now, big money. So. Uh, at the end of the day, we're going to disconnect the GPS unit so that it's not even part of the equation. And then we will start the car. Again, fingers crossed, it'll start right up with no issues. And I might even drive this car for the weekend if, uh, if, we, can get, uh, if we can get to that point. So uh, right now, it's only about uh, 10 minutes after 8 in the morning. Nobody's even here yet. I figured I would do this while things were quiet. So uh, next time you see me, I'll hopefully have a better update for you on the 2012 Kia Soul. So stay tuned. Well, we did pick up a couple of new vehicles yesterday, a 2015 Sorento and a 2014 Santa Fe. And for those of you who don't know, Kia and Hyundai are sister companies. So they're based on the same platform, same drivetrain. And if you look at them side by side, they do look pretty similar. So one of the things that each of these vehicles do have is satellite radio. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to activate them based on an app that we have, or that I have on my phone. So first things first, we gotta start the vehicle. And then we go to the satellite radio app on the phone. And you can either enter in the SID number radio ID number or you can scan the VIN so if we hit scan VIN hit scan I can hit scan it brings up a little scanning device on my phone I don't know if you can see the red lines there but we just come over here and we scan the VIN tag just like that and the phone will come up and say do you want to send it so we say send it and within a second you get a green confirmation that says the signal's been sent there you go, it can take up to five minutes for the satellite signal to be processed. Do not adjust the radio. 
So we'll leave this for a couple of minutes and we'll come back and check it. And now we'll do the same thing on the Santa Fe. And just like that, without calling any 800 numbers and getting stuck on hold and pressured into buying for a million years of a subscription, we've got two vehicles activated with satellite radio. So because we get a free preview with our vehicles that we have on our lot, when you buy one used, you also get a free preview for 90 days. So uh, if you're buying a vehicle and it has satellite radio, don't forget to ask for your free 90 day trial. So let's go check and see how the key is doing. So it looks like everything is activated. So we're gonna go find Prime Country on 58. And some Kenny Chesney. So that one's working. Back to the Santa Fe. And it seems to be scrolling through the channels as well. And there you go, folks. That's how you activate it. Easy peasy. I hear that GPS bleeping. I would see if we can find it and take it out. See if I can find it. Here goes. Here goes nothing. Sounds sound like the battery's getting weak. Yeah. So as it sits right now, the Kia Soul still won't start. Although Everything is turning properly. Everything sounds good that way. It doesn't seem like it's getting any fire, um, which tells me possibly that it might be a security issue. The security key light stays on in the dash, and which was an indicator that there was a problem in the first place, which is why we ended up sending it to uh, the Kia dealer in this video here the first time. I hear him cranking it there now, still nothing. So, a little bit frustrated and uh, waiting to hear back from the Kia dealer where we had it sent. They were supposed to have fixed the security uh, so that the key would work. And uh, at least they said they did. They charged us almost $800 to, to fix that. So, anyways, it continues. I'll keep you updated. She gonna do something. There she is. Oh. Trying. It's trying. Are the key lights still on? It's off now. Well, that was close. Yeah, it could just be something as simple as a sensor. You don't suppose something got pinched down there when you were moving around with that hose? Nothing down there. There's a sensor going down. The cam's got blue tape on it. Suppose that's something. It looks like it might be a cam sensor. Maybe that was repaired at one point. She almost started. I heard it. I heard it kick. Sputter, so you getting gas. He said, he said he had a cam code, but these are your cam sensors here. And they got, that one's been taped up. Like it's almost like something's been. Is that B? Why don't we check the wires on that, Tim? Yeah. Try and start it again. I think you might have the distributor in backwards. Those timing marks are pretty clear. Unless but it, it was again, but it was backfiring through here. Yeah. So I wonder if we can take uh where's the mass airflow on this thing? Uh, there might not be one. Here. So that's that was my concern right there. That looks like yeah, they taped no, up. No, I've seen them tape blue before. 
I think they do it to differentiate one from the other, maybe. Or <clears throat> this is yeah. This has got the two liter. The other one's like at the one point five six. or six or whatever it is. I wonder if the cam sensors are the same. Does this have a crank? I'm gonna set that right on the. Yeah, it does. I'll set that on the floor. Give her some juice. So we did have a cam sensor code come up. So we're gonna just check and see if this Kia Soul has the same setup on the uh, coils. And if it does, we just might steal one. Similar, but I don't think they're the same. So where we left off on Friday with the Kia Soul is taking the valve cover back off and verifying uh, the timing marks. And apparently the timing marks aren't obvious because you've got to line the gold teeth on the chain up with a dot, not with a great big embedded or indented line that's on the cam. So once verifying that, we did verify the timing was off again. and. We will tear that apart on Monday and correct that. Hopefully have an update in the next video uh, on whether or not this thing started. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday. We're getting ready to leave the camper and go back home uh, for a couple of days. And I just wanted to give you a quick update on the subscriber count for this YouTube channel. Right now, as it sits, we are at 195, which means I would hope that by the end of the week, we should be in a position to hit 200. So guys, share these videos with your friends, anybody who you think might be interested in an automotive channel, so we can keep growing this channel. I'd like to see 200. I said earlier by the end of the month, but I think it's gonna happen very, very shortly. So stay tuned, I'll keep you updated. So guys, as I always say, thank you for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Give us a big thumbs up and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next update.